everybody, uh, Daisy here again. I apologize for the video quality. Um, still trying to get my camera working correctly. So uh, I'll try to move slowly so you can see everything that I'm doing. Um, I have a couple of pieces that I want to show you today. Um, we have the Triple XL Cardamizer, which is by all means necessary. Um, I'm going to show you a comparison here. Um, substantially bigger than the traditional um, low res dual coil cardamizer. The triple XL is a du dual coil, so not to worry there. Um, where the standard dual coil low res cardamizer holds about 40 drops of regular use, about I had to put 60 in it to prime it when I got it the first time. This one, when you get it first in the mail, you have to put 110 drops in it. Um, with regular use, it's 85 before it starts coming out the other side. Uh, that lasts me a heavy vapor about three days. So really, really, really happy with that. Very good uh, liquid conservation, excellent vapor. Um, uh, very, very, very happy. The flavor is really good. The throat hits really good. Um, it, it, and again, it is a dual coil, so that's really awesome. Uh, I did get a couple of comments on how to fill it. Um, it's just like your traditional cardamizers. I'm trying to move slowly here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and you just drop it in the sponge here, and I have not seen a drip tip for this size of a cardamizer just because it's so much larger than the normal cardamizers. Um, but it's got this nifty little rubber tip um, and it doesn't it's actually kind of difficult to get out um, so you don't have to worry about it falling out you can hang it from your mouth and it won't fall out so that's really nice um, and yes I am still using my USB battery um, I'm hooked on this thing I love it uh, I don't know if I'll ever switch to a different battery um, however I did find a battery that comes in personally for a close second However, there are people that use mods that require more battery power than the traditional batteries can give, and this would be an excellent battery for you guys. Um, it is a variable voltage battery. Um, it's got a meter here, and it tells you how much battery life you have left. Um, right now it's almost dead because I've been using it um, for the review. But when it's on low power, you'll see it light up red. Let's see. See it like oh, it's, I have it on medium. Okay, so it's on medium right now. Sorry, um, medium power I believe is 4.2 volts. Don't quote me on it. I'm not entirely sure on the exact numbers. Tap the battery six or seven times, and it'll go up a notch. Now it's shining blue for high power, which I believe is either 5.5 or 5.7 volts, which is powerful enough to handle any of your mods. Um, anything that requires more juice than a traditional battery and it still gives you plenty of vapor and plenty of throat hit while still powering the um, mods that need more power. You hit it again and it goes down to low power, shines red for low power which I believe is the traditional 3.7 or 3.9 volts. Um, on low power I can get about 10 hours of heavy vaping on it. Mid power you're looking at about eight and a half, nine hours and high power, the most you're going to squeeze out of it is eight hours. Um, but for the people that need um, the mods, you know, for their e smoke, this is an excellent, excellent battery. I have not found anything yet that it does not power. So, um, and effectively, I mean, it, it powers anything you put on it effectively um, without, you know, there being any lack of anything. Um, I did notice, however, that when putting a traditional cardamizer on it, or even the triple XL cardamizer on it, um, the vapor that you get is um, slightly thinner um, in production, but the throat hit is still the same. It's still a really good throat hit. And if you're just looking for something that'll give you that fix when you need it, if you're just switching over and you're not really sure if it's going to work for you, this would be a great starter battery simply because you can puff away on it all day on low power but when you're really starting to freak out and stress out oh my god I need a cigarette put it on high power you can get your butt kicked um, <laughs> I did it to my husband and he didn't believe me and he said oh I can handle anything I put it on high power he darn near choked to death so it 
it's good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, and um, so yeah, the throat hit is really good on anything you put on it. The flavor is excellent. Um, and obviously the level of flavor that you're getting will, dis will depend on the mod that you put on it. But overall, it is a great battery. I love this meter that it's got here. If this meter was on all the batteries, that would be awesome. If they could put it on my USB battery, I'd be even happier. I'd be one happy camper. Maybe they've already come up with it. I don't know. Um, okay, I showed you the triple XL. I showed you the battery. Okay. And the XL tank system. Yes, it's pink. I know I like pink. Um, the traditional tanks hold about 20 drops. This one here holds 50 drops for those of you that haven't had experience with a tank system. Um, it comes apart just like your typical cartridge and atomizer. And you flip it upside down here and there's a little cap that you pop off. It is rather difficult to get off. I have to use my fingernail and really work at it to get it off. I'm not going to try right now because it kind of hurts. But um, the flavor is not as good as a cartomizer, but for a tank, it is better than the traditional smaller um, tank system. So it does provide better vapor than its predecessors. Um, also with this atomizer on this tank system, the bigger atomizer, I actually haven't had any clogging issues or difficulty getting a good puff on it. I noticed with the smaller ones, I was having a lot of clogging issues and constantly having to prime it and um, had it, having to clean it at least once a week in order to get a decent drag off of it. And even then I couldn't get really get a good drag off of it. Um, however, I've been using this for about a month and a half now. I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. So if you are a diehard tank fan, this is the one that you need to get. Um, no issues, no maintenance. I haven't done anything to it in the last six weeks and it's still working like a charm. I switched back and forth between my tanks, that this tank here and the triple XL cartomizer um, just to kind of switch things up. Um, out of the two, I would say that the tank system does provide um, a harder throat hit. Um, this one still does really well and gives you a real good throat hit. But for those of you that are really hardcore and need, you know, a really good throat hit, this one would be the one for you. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't have any liquid in there, so I'm not going to demonstrate that one. But um, so, yeah, that is the different toys that I've found so far that have uh, been sent and asked to review. Um, this is the USB fast charger for the variable voltage battery. It plugs in just like a normal, typical, non-USB battery, which means that you have to take the um, e-smoke apart and plug it in to the end that you screw your cartomizer onto. Um, so there's that. Sorry, I'm really sorry about the video quality, you guys. I'm still working on my video cam. I upgraded my operating system and it's been fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have any questions or any comments or want to know any other information, um, feel free to comment me, be nice. Um, or you can call the guy vaporcrave.com. The number is listed on the website. He really is awesome, you guys. Um, I spent an hour on the phone with him sometimes and he totally answers every question I have. Oh, and one last thing before you guys go. Um, on the batteries, it doesn't matter who you get the batteries from. I've seen a lot of issues with people getting their batteries in the mail and they don't work. They plug them in, they still don't work. They can't get them to charge. They can't get them light up. They can't get them to do anything. Um, the Ego batteries, the Ego T specifically, um, when you get them in the mail, if they're not working and you plug it in the charger and it lights up for a second and it stops and says it's fully charged but you still can't get it to um, power anything, tap the button six or seven times and that'll take it out of what they call hibernation mode. Um, after a battery hasn't been used for X amount of time, it goes into a hibernation mode to save the battery life. So um, if you experience that problem, just tap the battery six or seven times and it'll work just fine. Um, so yeah, all right, well, happy vaping.